very warm welcome to the bowling ground in, in the midst of an extraordinary endurance feat. How are you feeling? Not, not too bad. Um, I've I've had you know some real tough days and difficult times, um, but I suppose given that I've been running 40 plus miles for the last what are we on day 18, 19, I think 19 we're on now. Yeah, it's all becoming a haze. Um, yeah, not 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 too bad. There's you know. One concern I have had is, is, has been my, my right knee, which was a, a problem even before the challenge started. I had a, a few injections in it just to try and settle the problem down, but um, you know it has flared up and it does flare up at any given time. So hopefully that will stay at bay and we'll be able to complete the challenge. Um, tell us a little bit about what inspired you to do the challenge and, and how you dreamt this all up. Uh, two reasons really. Um, I, since retiring from professional football, I've, I've, I've missed that that day-to-day enjoyment of the physical side of things. Um, uh, since retiring over the years, I've, I've been intrigued by these individuals that take on extreme ultra challenges and uh, always wondered what it would be like to put myself through that, that kind of scenario and uh, wanted to sort of see how I would react personally in that kind of a situation and uh, I've, I've got a good idea of what that's like now. Um, so yeah, it, was a, you know, it would be a big personal challenge and a tick in the box for me on that perspective but uh, the second reason is I've, I've you know as a family we've been touched by cancer and uh, you know whilst undertaking a, a, a huge physical challenge personally wanted to raise a huge amount of money for a fantastic cause which is Cancer Research UK. Um, which you've certainly done I understand that the total's at 73,000 at the moment amazing achievement. Yeah no thank you it's um it, it, it I suppose as the, the days have gone by and people have been more aware of the challenge maybe and uh, maybe I think there was a few people that wanted to experience it or to see me go through a little bit of pain before they uh, they donated they've certainly uh, they've had some of that now but um, yeah the, the donations are going great and uh, I hope that continues over the next few days and even even weeks once the challenge is, fa- is actually finished so um, you know I hope to be able to sort of hand over a, a huge check to Cancer Research UK so that they can find a cure to this. So you've had a great welcome here at the bowling ground today. Has that been your experience up and down the country? Yeah, on the whole, the clubs have been amazing. It's um, it's been great to get you know pitch side into the grounds for photo opportunities and to receive uh, a piece of you know signed memorabilia like shirts and things like we've received today, which will be amazing because that that is going to help the fundraising as well because we're going to put all that those items together in uh, some kind of auction. It'll probably be an online auction. Um, so maybe maybe an opportunity for a collector to get uh, all 20 Premier League sort of uh, football shirts all signed up from one season might be quite a, a collector's piece for someone if they're, they're happy to bid a, a nice sum of money.